health to the king. And a lasting Discovered and brought here. Didn't hear what happened after, though. Don't buy! Best of luck to you, mate. I wish we'd parted as friends. dying lady like she was a piece of meat. A dying pirate. There's the difference. Mary, it's me, Edward. Edward? Who's this fella? It's all right, Anne. He's a friend. What's wrong with Mary? She's ill. And her child? They took her. No idea where. Oh! 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 I know it pains, my lady, but we must be silent. Can you walk? Oh! Uh, oh! Uh. Lean on me, Mary. Come on. Uh, I can't. Search every cell! Come on, that's it. Uh, You're all right. Stop. Stop, please. 
ain't leaving you, damn it. Lift your arm. It's no good. There's no one here! I ain't leaving you nowhere. No bloody way. Put me down, Edward. Don't die on my account. Go. This is such a pain in the ass. Damn it. You should have been the one to outlast me. I've done my part. Will you? If you came with me, I could. Mary. I'll be with you, can we? Oh, well. What happened to Mary? What's wrong? Is she gone? Oh no. Oh God! Oh! Uh. Uh. What will you do now? Nothing sensible. You haven't earned this, but... they suit you.
Good fortune to you, Edward Kenway. Bring a bottle. I see some color first. Will this do? In all your years out here, you could never achieve what I've done in one fifth the time. Because you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness. ...is your disease. That's my prize, Roberts! I'll give it here! <laughs> Remember my creed, boy. A short life and a merry one, that is all. The world owes us nothing more than this. So take what you will, and then die before you live to see yourself made a fool. Give it here. That's right, boy, take it. I'll sweeten you, maggot. I'll cut you... Oh. Oh. Calm, little puppy, and slink back to your kennel. You haven't the metal for my brand of madness. Robert! Welcome aboard, Kenway. It's prizes, plunder, and adventure ahead. Are you game? Out of my way, Ben. Raise a glass to freedom, lads. Here's to gentlemen of fortune and women of leisure. To a world full of rogues better than all the kings and queens that kick us about. As gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. What man with a sensible mind would choose the former life? For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find tis better to be a commander than a common man! Close by, a jackdaw saw the deed, and it filled his head with the idea that he too was just as strong and capable. So, with a great flapping and rustling of feathers, the jackdaw came down swiftly and clutched at the coat of a large ram. 
But when he tried to fly away, he found he could not lift, for his size and strength were not up to the task. And even as the jackdaw struggled, the ram hardly noticed he was there. Nearby, just across the field, the shepherd saw the fluttering bird and was quite amused. Running up, he captured the jackdaw and clipped its wings. That evening, he gave the jackdaw to his children as a gift. What an odd little bird this is, father, they laughed and shouted. What? No more than two years! You promised me! You left! When I needed you the most! But you had me! What keeps you wondering? Do I not make you happy? I'm so close, Caroline! Please! Just let me do this! Everything you do, I'll spy, Edward! It's not spite that's driving me, Mary! It's courage! Courage for what, man? There's no one left in your life to care! God damn you all! I can handle this! You lout! Always tearing down when you could be building things up, or building yourself up, if nothing else! Just leave me be! Change course, Edward! Change your bloody course before it's too late! Captain Kenway! You look like a bowl of plumbed off. Christ! Oh, I've got a head for ten. On your feet! You put me on the spot, Addy. After leaving me with Robert, I shall have hard feelings about seeing you here. But mostly I'm bloody glad. <laughs> me too, brother. And you'll be tough to know your jackdaw is still in one piece. So we set sail. You're leaving. Aye, Edward. But I have another calling elsewhere. Ade, listen. When your heart and your head are ready, visit the assassins. I think you'll understand then. Thank you. 